if it seems a, a bit like a pyramid scheme to me, like pyramid of gifting. But obviously, he's at the top, and all these pawns that work themselves down. You know what I mean? It just seems like that. you got like the port, you got obviously Diadra, and then you got the mods, and then you got the obviously the people that are funding it. Yeah. He's recycling to keep himself relevant. Like, he's boasting going, oh, I've been at the top. Right, well, let's work this out. You've been at the top for however many weeks you say you've been at the top for. That's because of box battles. If that was solo support, you were a nobody before box battles. You were begging me to come in your box, and I said no. And then and then you've been paying by recycling to keep yourself at the top, to gain relevancy at the top. You never got there from being having a personality. You never got there through anything. You got there through sitting in a box with nine other people who get support. Thanks, everyone. Who, how you got that? You know, you well, I said to him earlier, those. like, does he transfer? Because I've always, well, been under the illusion that he transfers all this money into their bank accounts and they just chuck it back at, at him, like at reset. But apparently that's not the case and it's all their own money. Hey, everybody. Hey. How, are you? how are you all? Hope you're all well. Thanks. Yeah, we're good. We just invested in the Saturday Night Drama. Are you okay, Clark? I'm very well, thank you. I'm very, very well. Did, oh. you, have anything, did you have anything to add to, to the whole drama? No, I, I don't know who, I don't know who um, Taredro or Peredro, whatever his goddamn name is, I don't know who he is. Um, I was listening to your guys saying about the, um, about the police and... I'm with the police at the moment because I have an online stalker on here and everything else and all that drama. And then, Jackson, get down. And, um, sorry, they're my kids, sorry. It's okay. Who's stalking you, um, darling? Pardon? Who's stalking you? Um, he, he's a young lad um, called Nathan. He goes by the name of Twinkle Toes. He's a very strange lad. And um, and the, what he's been doing, he's gone through my whole family's like um, Facebook, and he's took pictures of my children, like screenshots, and oh, sent them to me. And he's like, "Oh, your children are going to be mine." Blah 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 blah. And I'm like, "Enough's enough now." Like this is like, this, this is this is serious now. So yeah, so I think just the whole of social media, I think people. This is just my opinion. I think people need to have like a reserve side of themselves and don't give too much. Because I so do. So, Clark, do you not know who Diadro is? He does box battles. There's people in the chat saying you've been in the box battles. I don't know who Diadro is. Maybe I know him by face, but I don't recognise the name. Is he a singer? Oh, darling. <laughs> if you don't know who he is. Because I'm really sorry about the stalking clock, but we, this is like a conversation about the Diadro one. Well, if you don't know who he is, then. If I saw his face, if I've been in, if he sings, because I tend to go in singers because yeah. I, I sing. You, if I play you a song, Clark, right, yeah. do you reckon you'd, you'd know? Go on. Okay, so it, go, it goes like this. <laughs> Diadro. No, Diadro. Dad, how do you get my Facebook? Has he got like short hairs? Is he from London? No, he's from Scotland. Diadro. Has uh -huh. anyone got a picture of him? Wait, like, like, beast, beast, beast. Have you heard that? Oh, I recognise that name. Give me a second. Thank you for joining us. Oh, don't don't say I've been in someone's live and they're like horrible people. Like, <laughs> no, oh, thank know. you for joining, Clark, darling. Thank you. I hope you stalk us Oh, people are having a terrible time getting stalked and everything. Do you know what I mean? Poor bloke, he ain't got a clue. DJ, uh, stop laughing. Serious <laughs> stalking. Serious. Oh, I think the difficulty with all of this is like, I do feel sorry for some of the people who have modded for him, who have gifted him, because I think he is a narcissist and he reigns them in. He reigns them in, makes them feel loved, makes them feel protected. And then when they're deep in the throes of his clutches, that's when he'll set loose. And that's what I worry about for a lot of these people. 
like until you are out of it you don't know what you're in but can i just say something though yeah. i feel like obviously because it's such an intoxic it's such a toxic environment thank you for the love uh guys thank you my lins because it's such a toxic environment people are actively you know taking part in that and they're okay at the time doing it this is like my problem with it I, although i do feel sorry for people that are financially groomed you know they're still actively taking part in such a toxic environment do you know what i mean yeah. so I, I was in a in a narcissistic relationship for 10 years and it wasn't only until i was out of it like my family members and my friends were all saying red flags red flags red flags but i didn't see it and it took me a year until i was out of it to actually finally start seeing the red flags and to start seeing what was happening yeah yeah no you you have got a valid point because narcissists you know they do kind of like take a grip on you do you know I what i mean I don't think you need to be like in a physical relationship, but it's that mental aspect. And I think the mental game is strong. Mm -hmm. And like, yeah. as soon as they've got their claws in you and they've be, they've brought, brought you down to the, your lowest point, and then they start to rebuild you to what they want. Look at Yeah. Yeah. And I think that's the difficulty is like, um, yes, they were part of it. Yes, they saw everything. But what a narcissist, narcissist does is they break you down, don't they? They break all of your mental capacity until every bad thing that they do, you don't see it as bad. No, I, I agree, darling. I've been there myself, wore the T-shirt, not many yeah. thousands of people that are probably watching the line. Yeah, like, we've all been there, we've all done it, we've bought the T-shirt, like, we can, so, we can see from the outside, oh my goodness, this is a horrible situation, but the people who are in it, they can't yet, not until they're out of it. Yeah, she, she has a point there, guys. She does. And I'm sorry that you've experienced that as well. Okay. Um, Thank you. But I think a lot of us have. Um, it's just the world we live in. But I'm going to drop now. And thank you, everyone, for the gift. But yeah, that, I just wanted to say that, that he's a narcissist you. and he will break them down and break them and break them and break them and break them until they start to see his truth, his story, whatever he says goes and whatever anyone else says isn't true. Yeah. It's kind of like a cult. It is. That's exactly what it is. It's a cult. It's a Thank cult. you for joining, darling. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. 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 Guys, please be kind in the comments when someone joins the class. Say that, you know, and don't go at that Clark guy because at the end, he might not know. Let's be honest. Everyone's FYP is different. There you go, Your heart is so big. Huh? Your heart's getting even bigger by the day, Jay, because no, honestly no. now, the people in the comments are like, how can you not know who he is? He's always at the top of the leaderboard. You was in his live two days ago. You was in there before singing and stuff like, come on, we all can't be naive. Let's be honest. Oh, oh God. Damn. Oh, God. Oh, God. I took my flipping breath away. Jesus Christ. I thought he was Andrew. That is the <laughs> most horrible thing. I was just eating my chilli con oh, carne, man. Yeah. I think I've choked on a kidney bean. Oh, Dan, you shit the life out of me. You know I hate that mask. DJ, I was just eating my chilli con carne and now the kidney bean, I'm nearly choked. Oh, Dan, what are you up to then, I'll come around and I'll wet your ear. Oh, you fucking dirty bastard. Oh, Dan, why are you sat at home at half six on a Saturday night wearing that mask? What are you up to? <laughs> oh, just <laughs> I'm about to go into town and see Margaret, bingo. Oh, it's horrendous. Have you just been sat there that whole time like that? Yes. Ooh, yeah. what the hell? Do you, does no one else sit here like, pretending to be granddad? No. Not, not oh, on Saturdays, you've no. Not lived. You've, you've not lived. 